Hey guys, so in this video I'd like to speak about infective endocarditis. What is infective endocarditis? It is a micro organism infection that is by bacteria, bacterial infection which is affecting your heart valves. Now when I'm speaking of infective endocarditis, it could be divided into two types, acute bacterial endocarditis and subacute. When I'm speaking of acute bacterial endocarditis, it is a condition where it is mostly associated with the natural valves. So what do I mean by natural valves means in a normal person we have a natural valve. So what is the difference between a natural valve and an artificial valve? Artificial valve is a replaced prosthetic valve. Okay. Now acute bacterial endocarditis is more confined towards a native valves native valves means healthy valves now apart from that we can have a subacute bacterial endocarditis now what is a subacute bacterial endocarditis a subacute bacterial endocarditis is such a condition which is seen with what which is seen with a artificial valve or a already damaged valve so when i have an already damaged valve or an artificial valve i have more possibility towards developing a subacute bacterial endocarditis now once i'm done with this let's look what causes this infective bacterial endocarditis infective bacterial endocarditis is divided into acute and subacute so most commonly acute is caused by staphylococcus aureus when i'm speaking of subacute subacute is caused by less virulent organism compared to staph aureus so what are the less virulent organisms we have streptococcus mutans streptococcus mutans and we have staph epidermidis apart from that we can have viridans so these are the three organisms which cause subacute bacterial endocarditis now why these are the less virulent organisms and once they are a less virulent organism they tend to infect the damaged walls but they cannot infect a natural healthy valves now once i'm done with this let's look in which people so the people who is having the already some procedure done on their heart valves now people who is a iv drug abuser now these people having what these people having high tendency to develop a bacterial endocarditis now once i'm done with this let's look at a clinical feature so the clinical feature associated with a bacterial endocarditis is one of the most important feature is fever why fever because it's an infection now apart from the infection what else can be found in these people yes apart from infection in uh, infection due to fever um, because of infection fever apart from fever these people will have the symptoms of microembolism what are the symptoms of microembolism by microembolism guys look when there is an infection on the heart valve so what happens there is a vegetation formed on your heart valve when there is a vegetation formed on your heart valve what's gonna happen that vegetation vegetation means small vegeta vegetable like growth actually so what happens that get detached from the heart valve and travel all over the body as like a embolus when it travel all over the body as like embolus what's gonna happen it will form some damage in the other parts of the body so because of which we find something called as ocellus nodules apart from ocellus nodules we find something called as Janeway lesions and rod spots so rod spots are found in the retina right now when i'm speaking of Janeway lesions they're found on the palms and soles and in the fingers we find something called as ocellus nodule okay now once i'm done with this features how do i diagnose so diagnosis is based on something called as duke's criteria now i'll i'm not going into the depth features of the duke's criteria just i'll go through the brief important things here so when i'm speaking of duke's criteria we do so a blood culture now what do i do by a blood culture what is this blood culture i take a blood from a person's vein and send it for the microscopic culture now what do i do in this blood culture technique remember this blood culture blood is drawn 12 hours apart 12 hours apart now apart from that we i do a echocardiogram to find out a vegetation apart from that i have a minor criteria freshly heard murmurs this microscopic uh, microscopic uh, not microscope micro embolizations that is genvelations ocellus nodules based on that those include under minor criteria but this is not a complete duke's criteria i'm just doing a briefing here now once i'm done with the duke's criteria and i confirm i treat this person with what i treat this person with antibiotics so this is a story of our infective endocarditis now in a duke's criteria we consider major criteria blood culture in that even if it is positive for coxella brunetti even one microorganism coxella brunetti that's enough to say it is a bacterial endocarditis so this is about the bacterial endocarditis thank you